in today's video we're going to do weekly custom tab descent instructions what's become apparent is that maybe i went a bit too extreme and made things a bit too manual so i left last week's video out we're going to take it back to a more of a slower progressive style and we're going to go through all the custom tactics as well. Before I get into the video, I want to say this video is sponsored by the One Football app, your one stop shop for all football information. If you want to stay up to date with the latest football news, the latest transfer news, of course, transfer deadline coming to a close very, very soon, or even just your favorite team, like I support Arsenal, are we going to win today? Hopefully, fingers crossed, we do. You can stay tuned with the One Football app. Link is down below in the description. If you want to download it or in a comment section and in the description. If you do download it, you do support my channel. So, links down in the description. Don't forget, it's free to download as well. So, One Football. They got your they got your back the best app for football information but now going into fifa going back to the videos as i said i went maybe a bit too far too far to one extreme i had everything basically on balance balanced and the idea was that you manually trigger players yourself and you get used to it but i do realize now that's a bit too aggressive so we're still going to keep this 4-2-3-1 because when a game comes out i'm going to be releasing a 4-2-3-1 custom tactics and it would be very similar to what you can see over there um, normally when the game comes out the 4-2-3-1 it stays very much the same so this is a defense option the players are a bit out of position which moves very very quickly um basically when a game comes out normally the 4-2-3-1 it's a very very stable formation we didn't want to go too far, for example, on direct passing or forward runs just because when the game comes out, direct passing works well now, but will it work next year? We don't know. We've seen the defensive line in the trailer. Will that be when it when the game comes out? We don't know. So just copy these instructions. Um, so this 4 2 one would be one just to close the game out. So if you're using this formation now, try to start the game with this formation as opposed to starting with attacking formation because don't forget you're used to the footies players players are being very very aggressive playing on the front foot have really good attacking ai when the game comes out you're not going to have players like that so you're going to struggle so in my opinion start off with this formation we have the 4-2-3-1 from yesterday's video. This is the end game custom tactics 4-2-3-1. I thought, let me chuck this one in instead. So that way you have two, four. It's important to have two 4 2 3 Just trust me. Trust me on this one. When the game comes out, you will thank me later. I promise you now when the game comes out, there'll be two 4 2 that you do play with. Um, and I definitely recommend it. What I would want you to say is do try press on possession loss on this one. Um, just try to get used to it if you haven't already. That's all I'm going to say for that one. Um, this is just more of the attacking one. You can see you've got stay forward, um, both the strike and the cam, and the lamb and the ram is unbalanced. Normally when FIFA comes out, people don't really know how to defend or they don't know how to attack. But everyone knows roughly how to attack. But the issue is mainly defending. So the best way to kind of exploit your opponent is to kind of go more on the offensive heavy. Because people, what they do, they try to park the bus naturally. But never works out. Counter attacks and defending is the biggest weak point when FIFA comes out, especially because you don't have the personnel. And obviously, we know from the new gen, um, the new, the new jockeying style now takes into account defense awareness. So people are not going to be used to be able to run and jockey at the same speed, etc., etc. So it's going to be a massive, massive difference thing. So that's why I want to keep the two both four two three one. So you got one to start the game with, one to be a bit more aggressive. I would say just give press on position loss a go. I want you to kind of go through everything you haven't played. Um, I would say um, out of all these, drop back. We're never, we're never going to use this. Not on my channel anyway. Be balanced and constant pressure you kind of use anyway. Um, but pressure every touch is basically in between balanced and press off possession loss. It's only when there's a good chance to win the ball. So this is the really the only odd ball because everyone uses constant pressure anyway, but do you use pressure possession loss? So just get used to that because when a game comes up, people, they don't know how to play, so they play very slow as well. So you're going to want to press the ball quite a lot of the time. Every FIFA this happens, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. When a game comes out, people where they pass the ball around, they play very slow because they don't know what they're doing. They get new to, they're not used to passing, etc., etc. So um, you can use pressure possession loss. And that is attacking 4 2 3 1. So that is the two formations. We've just taken out the 4 1 2 1 2 second variation temporarily. And I made this choice because the 3 5 2, it always trumps. So if you've been following me since what FIFA 19 has started, I've always told you 3 5 2 is the meta formation in the game. It was more meta back then than it is now, but it was always still meta. FIFA 21, this formation was really, really meta. Um, of course, it only transpired in 22 people, when people started jumping on the bandwagon. But as I've always mentioned to you, it's like all the form. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a 4 2 3 1, like the four, that's the three cams, like that there, ram and lamb. And then one struck with it with two strikers, like a 4 1 2 1 2 in the middle. With the left mid, the right mid, and it's like a 4-4-2, four, four, 
with a cam. So it's every attack and formation in one. No matter what anyone tells you, if you can't attack with a 3-5-2, it's 100% your fault of the gameplay. Because this is, this is a 4-1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two, a 3-5-2, technically, well, it is as it is, a 4-4-2 and a 4-2-3-1 in one go. Um, so defensively, you may struggle. But when the game comes out, I think especially in New Fevers, what people do is they go towards a 4-1-2 on the second variation. That's kind of why I did this last year. But I think I'll go straight with the 3-5-2. Everyone knows how to play it. Two CDMs, you've got the stability. And don't forget... Um, with especially coming up to new fee newer FIFA, we don't really know that much about defending or attacking, so you're better just overloading your opponent. Um, direct passing is what we put on for both new gen and old gen. Um, maybe I'm kind of guessing what's going to be coming up in the next game, um, just by the way I'm looking at the trailer, the drop back deep line. So I am thinking of maybe keeping direct passing on a 3-5-2 when the game starts next year. So as you can see, I'm trying to plan for the future. And I'm kind of giving you like in the mind of what I'm what I'm thinking of and what I'm trying to do. Just so you can kind of get a bit of a gist. So you're following along. You understand why I'm doing things, not just doing it aimlessly. I'm trying to think of what I do when the stuff every cycle comes out. And as I said, because I realized that I went balanced, balanced. If you're a pro player, going balanced, balanced is fine. But I think maybe I went too extreme. Um, you can put one of the strikers on comeback defense to make the midfield three. Or you can lead this guy and stay forward. It's completely up to you. Lead this guy and come back if you want to defend in a 5 3 1 1. Leave him on stay forward if you want to defend in a 5 uh, sorry, a 5 uh, 5 2 1 2. Um, stay central. Uh, one of them on getting behind, the other one not. Um, the more agile plan we put on getting behind. Get to the box or across. Left mid, right mid, come back in defense, get into the box, get it behind. Again, this 3-5-2, I'll save you some time. When the game comes out next year, you're going to see very similar tactics to this 3-5-2. It, it remains very much unchanged. If you if you think about this, FIFA 19, it's the exact same instruction on left mid and right mid, if you think about it. The exact same. Nothing has changed. Um, both center mid, people are saying this is too attacking. Just put them both on, stay back while attacking then. Um, try. I would say please try to get used to using the L1 trigger. To push a player going forward. It is very, very important that you get used to doing that. I can promise you when FIFA comes out, the best way to expose someone's defense is by creating overlaps and overloads and outnumbering your opponent. The best way to do that is with L1 triggers. Because sometimes when someone is winning 1 or 2 nil in new FIFAs, people, they normally go drop back and play defensive. And people struggle against that because the people normally play counter-attack football. So the L1 triggers are going to be one of the most important things. So please do use the L1 triggers, not only just for the left mid and right mid and the strikers, but also for the CDMs as well. The 442 is another one you can use for possession loss in. Um, when I start FIFA, I normally go with this. I don't really go constant pressure too quickly. So you can leave it on balance or possession loss. I will recommend trying it. If you haven't already... Balanced, I mean, I got with a long ball. Um, again, I'm just trying to guess to make what's going to happen in the future. Um, but maybe this is a bit of a personal preference. You can leave long ball on. I just left it on balance just to reset myself. It's it's kind of, you know, it's kind of complicated. Um, when Don't forget, every time a fever comes out, the meta gets defined much early on. But it takes a lot of time for the mass to join. There's certain things like think about direct passing this year. People didn't realize it was the meta up until maybe November time. I think that's when people really realized the meta. But again, they can have the personal preference. Um, so if someone watching this video might prefer slow build up play. So I would say balanced direct passing is a good level because you don't want to be going too much. So I say if you are going to use balanced, use long ball. If you're going to use press up position loss, then use balance as well, I'd say. Just so you just don't get killed too much in terms of stamina. I know it's foot easy, it doesn't make a difference. Um, but when the game comes out, you're not going to have those players. Realistically, what's going to happen is when a game comes out, there'll be a 4-4-2 a somewhere over here. It might replace one of these formations. And then you might have an ultra attacking formation. We did put both of these players um, on CDM. So I'll explain to you uh, the reason why. Um, I want to try something next year. I'm just going to show you something off the screen. Um, if I don't know if you remember, but in the 
in the pitch notes, um, there's a new instruction called um, a deep, deep lying playmaker, and this can only be applied to CDMs. Um, so when I do get the game, when the game does come out, I'll be experimenting with the deep um, lying playmaker instruction. And basically, what this does is quote it directly from the EA website. It says we've added a new play instruction for midfielders to consistently ask for the ball and grav gravitate toward towards ball handlers. So imagine using long ball with um with for example the deep lying playmaker so it's going to be very very interesting so that's why i put the one with the cdms in and uh, we'll keep this until the game ends so although we're taking we're kind of taking two steps backwards one step forward now but in the future that'll be 10 steps forward so i just kind of want you just to get a bit of a gist of what's going on don't forget this instruction can only be applied to cdms um, so it's kind of a bit in experimental phase, to be honest, as I said with you, um, it's going to be a lot of these are a bit experimental, but I could just tell you that I'm trying to get you ready for it. Um, as I said, if you, if you're watching this, and you're like, you know what, Neil, I don't need to use these instructions. Just put everything on balance and leave it like that. If you're sitting here and you're ready, put everything on balance and that's it. Don't, you have to watch any tactics videos from me from sort of the rest of the year because you already know what to do with the L1 trick. Because if you're still not sure, you can still use this. Don't forget the last foot champs is in about a month's time as well. So if you are playing foot champs, you do have one month left to play it. Um, but that is the experimental um, tactics along with some reasonings. Feel free to do chop and change. If there's any formation you do want to use, just use it now if I'm, if I'm going to be honest with you. But I think this would be the setup. I'm probably going to make a video when the game comes out and I'll tell you what my exact layout would be. I'm not sure if I would keep um, the 4 4 2 second variation and the uh, 3 5 2 in together. I might just keep one. Or oh, about the 4 1 2 1 2 second variation. I wish they had more slots. The problem with this game is they only have four slots because the balance slot is redundant. That's the one for, for, you know, for chemistry purposes. So. I mean, when new chemistry changes, it could be a different thing, but who knows? Um, I know the new chemistry changes, as you probably read from the pitch notes, that you people have to play in a native position, so maybe it might be an extra slot being opened up uh, if you do a formation for chemistry, but until then, we don't really know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, I don't know if I want to make one next week. I might do, I might not, um, but I think this would be the fun. I know everyone's asking me to make it, but... To be honest, at this point, I think that's why I left out last week. Because last week I was thinking, you know what, I can make this video, but I, th I thought, you know what, let me touch upon it in a four, two, three, one video, and then I can leave this towards the end. But um, this could be the one, the very last ones, and then this is gonna be the FIFA 23 prep ones. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Bit of a ramble towards the end, but anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and of course, I'll catch you next time. Peace out.